guys, this is Haley from OneUnravels.com, and in today's video, I thought it might be fun to do the most Googled rabbit questions, and I've never done one of these before, but I saw some other people doing it with, like, Googling themselves and things, so I guess we will see what has been Googled about bunnies. So I've got my laptop here gotta turn it on. So the first thing I'm going to Google is what do rabbits blank? Let's see what comes up. What do rabbits eat? Okay, so basically rabbits are herbivores and they eat plants. <laughs> so rabbits should never have anything like dairy, meat, anything that's not herbivore related. They also can't eat like legumes, seeds, nuts, any of those things are not what rabbits eat. Rabbits eat fresh leafy greens and hay for the majority of their diet. They can also have different herbs and things, but I have a video all about rabbit's diet if you wanna check it out. Now I'm gonna search how do rabbits blink? How do rabbits drink water? Um, uh, basically like any other animal, they drink it with their mouth out of a dish or a bowl. How do rabbits communicate? So rabbits communicate mainly through body language. So I have a whole video all about bunny behavior and it kind of goes through a lot of that body language. Uh, it would take forever to go through it all in this video, but basically it's mainly through body language, how they interact and different movements mean different things to each other. Rabbits also do make certain noises and sometimes the vocal noises are actually so quiet that humans can't even hear it. Um, one of the things I'm thinking of is a very low, quiet grunting. It kind of sounds like hmm, hmm, hmm. Like I know that sounds weird, but it kind of sounds like that and I've seen Bonded rabbits do this to each other. A lot of the times it's, you know, when they're hopping around each other, they'll kind of make that grunting noise. My understanding is that they're kind of just like asserting their dominance kind of when they're hopping around the other bunny. But I've also heard non-dominant rabbits do it as well. So again, I'm not exactly sure. There's probably multiple reasons why they do it. Uh, but rabbits also grunt when they are not happy or upset. Uh, they will grunt and growl at each other, uh, also at humans, and they can also scream. But rabbits only scream when they think they are dying. How do rabbits see? So rabbits see through their eyes. Uh, they have, uh, they do not see exactly like humans. I don't believe they see all the same colors and things like that. Uh, they also have different vision, like, how they see. So rabbit's eyes are on the side of their head because they're prey animals. This allows them to see a lot more of their surroundings than if their eyes are on the front of their heads like humans. <laughs> um, so a lot of prey animals will have, you know, eyes on the side of their head because it allows them to see more. It allows them to see above them as well as most of their surroundings. So way back here, all the way into the front, but they can't see like directly in front of their nose. So they do have limited vision like right here. Whereas with like humans, we see directly in front of our face and we have less peripheral vision. Um, that's just because as prey animals, this is how they survive is by being able to see birds in the sky, being able to see predators sneaking up on them. Uh, so they don't really need that vision right in front of their face. Where are rabbits from? So obviously there's different types of rabbits, but our domesticated rabbits are the European rabbit. They're domesticated from the European rabbit, which is from Europe, so. When do rabbits stop growing? So this is gonna depend on the breed of rabbit themselves, but a general frame is about six months of age. A rabbit is technically an adult. Uh, some larger breeds of rabbits may continue to grow after that point as you know, they have more to grow, but a lot of like medium to small size rabbits are about done growing around six months of age. That's when they become an adult and uh, they don't really grow much after that. So now I just Googled pet rabbit and one of the first things that popped up is lifespan. So what is the lifespan of an average pet rabbit? Uh, it depends who you ask. Some people say eight to 10 years. Other people say like 10 to 12 years. Uh, honestly, anywhere from age eight to 12 is kind of 
when a rabbit will probably pass away, but this depends so much on genetics, uh, you know, health conditions, the breed of the rabbit, things like that. So I have had rabbits pass away around eight and a half years old, uh, but I currently have a rabbit who is 11. So it definitely depends on the bunny, their genetics, their health conditions, things like that. But the average lifespan is anywhere from between eight to 12 years of age. So <laughs> where do pet rabbits poop? Apparently that's something people like to Google. So. I guess if your pet rabbit is spayed and neutered and litter trained, they poop in their litter pan. Obviously this does depend on the rabbit. Some rabbits aren't as 100% litter trained as other rabbits, uh, but for the majority of the time, my rabbits poop in their litter box, but sometimes random ones do, you know, fall out, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if your rabbit's not litter trained, they probably just poop wherever they want, but I would highly recommend spaying and neutering your rabbit and litter training them. How do you clean a rabbit? So this is an interesting question, but rabbits actually do not need to be bathed. So it's actually harmful to bathe a rabbit and submerge them into water. They can go into shock and get pneumonia very easily. So this is something you're gonna wanna avoid at all costs. Do not bathe your rabbit. Do not ever bathe your rabbit. They do not need to be bathed. Uh, so basically the only thing you really have to do is groom them. So brush them when they're shedding and things like that, groom their nails, things like that. Uh, but you don't ever have to give them a bath. They clean themselves more than cats do. And there's no reason to give them a bath. They don't stink. If they do stink, there's probably an issue or your rabbit isn't spayed or neutered. Unfixed rabbits can smell, uh, which is why I highly recommend spaying and neutering your bunny. So yeah, there's no reason to give your rabbit a bath. There are certain medical reasons that you would have to give a rabbit a partial bath, such as a butt bath, but this is only for a medical situation where your rabbit needs it. And if that was to happen, it's most likely when your rabbit is a senior and they get poop stuck to their butt because they can't groom themselves properly, things like that. And in that instance, you wouldn't sub fully submerge them in a bath either. You would try your best to just get it off with a wet cloth or a tiny bit of water. Um, so yeah, do not ever bathe your rabbit. <laughs> How long can a rabbit be left alone? So rabbits should not be left alone for long periods of time because they need people to check in on them and feed them and make sure they're eating and that they're healthy. Rabbits can go into something called GI stasis and if they were to go into that, they can die within 12 to 24 hours of not eating. Uh, that is because rabbits have to have food in their digestive systems at all times. So if you were gone for longer than that and you didn't check on your rabbit, they could develop stasis and die before you were able to treat them and take care of them or take them to the vet. So for that reason, you should have someone check in on your rabbit at least twice a day if you are to be going on a vacation or something and you need a pet sitter, someone needs to be in your home at least twice a day to check on them, to feed them, make sure they're eating, make sure they're healthy, things like that. How can pet rabbits die? So this is an interesting question because obviously there's many, many, many reasons a pet could die or a rabbit could die. Uh, I would say probably the main cause of pet rabbits dying is GI stasis. I think a lot of people who have rabbits don't understand what GI stasis is and how deadly it is. Uh, I don't think people check in on their rabbits twice a day to make sure they're actually eating food. And because they're not making sure their rabbit's eating, they don't know if they're in stasis or not, and they can die within 12 hours. So I always often hear people tell me a story about their pet bunny when they were a kid, and they're like, yeah, it was fine one day, and the next day it was dead probably GI stasis because they didn't know what to look for, they didn't know what was going on, and the rabbit just passed away. So that's probably one of the main causes, especially for young rabbits to suddenly pass away. As far as like older bunnies, a lot of the times it's, you know, they're old, they pass away naturally from old 
old age or they have health issues, things like that. Obviously, there's a lot of other reasons a rabbit could pass away, but I would say GI stasis is probably the most common. So that's basically it for today's video. I thought it would be interesting to see what people Google about rabbits and if I could answer them. So let me know if you thought this video was interesting. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to check out my online shop, 101rabbits.com. I sell a lot of toys and treats and different hidey houses for bunnies if you guys are interested. So that'll be linked in the iCard as well as down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.